Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today right in front of us we have the top on Togi's tree so yeah uh, this is actually if this is actually my fourth time building a top on kit in terms of master grade the first one um, I built I built was the strike Rouge Autori second one was the red frame the third one is the double quanta and now we have the Togi's tree so yeah Top by kids up and down. Um, there are some good one and there are some bad one, but yeah, nonetheless, today we we'll take a look at this Togi's tree. This is um, I, this is their first sort of like a P P Bandai kit that they make. So most of the people is now calling them as a P Tapan kit. But yeah, um, this kit in terms of the looks, it looks good. But um, the color somehow um, it's not the very white kind of white. It's sort of like um, white, whitish, grayish. If that makes sense, sort of like a white and white and gray mixed together. So yeah, nonetheless, um, although it doesn't look that white, but in terms of the looks, it still looks quite good. So of course, we we'll take a look at this kit first on the articulation and then i'll talk about the rest of this kit at the end of this video so first we'll take a look at this kit without its weapons so yeah basically um this kit is really back heavy so of course i'll recommend you guys to get a stand but nonetheless we still take a look at this quick 360 rotation once this is done then it will be another part where I'm doing a live commentary on the articulation. So yeah, here goes. So now we'll take a look at the articulation for this top on Togi's tree. So yeah, I've removed all the weapons of it. So we just look at, of course, the usual basic articulation. So of course, the first, let me adjust here. So of course, the head. As usual, you get a really good articulation, but um, the sticker wise, as you guys can see, the middle part there, like um, the part the, in the middle, let me just um, point here to you guys. Uh, the middle part here, because it's this part is like the middle section, so this part is out, then the other two parts here will be going in. So that part there makes the sticker here looks not that appealing. But of course, if you put, if you're just gonna put on the shelf, then no problem. But if you're going to uh, move it around, want to show around to people, so on and so forth, then I would recommend you guys to be really careful on the sticker part. But yeah, now, now let's just take a look at the head. So of course, the looks here, it actually looks not bad, and the build itself is actually very sturdy. So that's a good point by Tapan here. So the head move up and down and you can look you can do this look down pose and show his crown sort of now i look at this it sort of looks like the barbatos head but yeah nonetheless let's continue here and this is how high it will go i mean this pose looks good as well like he saw the wing coming down ready to fight him and then yeah i can do like like say all these poses and the articulation for the head is actually pretty good so yeah, here it is. Very well done. Um, it's a ball joint as well, so that's good to see. And then now we'll move on to the app crunch first. Let me just move back slightly a little bit. And yeah, the app crunch here, you can go all the way down like that. So it's straight, you can see here the movement. Then you can go all the way up. And by the way, if you're planning to get this kit, I recommend you guys to buy a stand along because I mean, without the backpack, you can stand fine, no problem at all. Very easy to find the the steady stand pose for him. But once you added the base, it's um, rather difficult. Anyway, let's continue here again. Um, yeah, the body basically is just like that. And if you're wondering why this part here is like this and one is empty, the hollow here, it's because I've forgotten to insert the blue color part for the body. So that's my fault, not Tapan's spot. So yeah, anyway, let's proceed now here to the arms here. So you guys can see, it is connected with the large ball here. It's a, it's a really cool mechanism, so that's good to see. And then, um, because 
it's um, the backpack here. It's blocked. Not sure you guys can see here. Not sure the camera can focus. But yeah, it's sort of blocked here, so you can't really move it. I mean, yeah, now you can. So articulation will move all the way up like that. So that's good to see. And then um, you would have to move out a little bit to in order for you to move. But um, yeah, basic articulation is like that. Now we move on here to the bicep here. It can go all the way up. If I'm not mistaken, it can move VR, yeah, can move like that. And then yeah, basically the arms maximum is like that, and yeah, one part fall off. Just put it back, and then the hands you come with a uh, fist, the closed fist, and then one is like open here, like that, and the other one is the trigger hand. I did not put those um, because I think this like the best for it since it's um, half open, and I don't think I'll be using those as well. But yeah, this, these hands are very basic, so yeah, nothing much to show you guys really. But one thing, oops, I'm sorry. One thing I would say is that this part over here, the connector to the hands and the to the, the torso there, uh, is actually not the best. This is the one of the weak point in the kit. I'll talk. I'll talk more about it in my separate in a separate video. Like if you guys want to buy this kit, what are the things you should look out for? So yeah, and then here you have the connector for the mega bazooka. Is that what they call it? Mega Beam Saber, or whatever you call it, that could destroy one whole line of mobile suits. And then, yeah, the other part here will be used for the Fang, for the Togi's tree. So, yep, that's it. And then now, since I'm here, let's, let me just move up like that. And yeah, basically the articulation is like that. And it's very loose, so yeah, one thing, the one thing bad about this kit is just that. And then at the bottom here, just want to show you guys here, the thrusters here. At a, at a kit here so yeah and then here your side skirt can move like that actually this part um, nothing to shout about it can move but you don't really need to move it because as you guys can see it's pretty short this front skirt so it won't hinder much on the leg articulation so yeah talking about leg articulation now let's go and see here here is the maximum articulation like that and then now I'll try to bend the knees and you guys can see here there is a bit of articulation here showing the inside of the Torgi's three legs so yeah here's like the arm up the knee pad some sort and then now here you can go all the way down like that and here's your slight articulation for you to move down and basically this part here not much articulation let me show you front here left and right just a little bit nothing much to shout about and at the front you can't really move front because this is the max front so so it's like standing pose you can't do much but the back yeah you have a slight articulation again not to not there's nothing to shout about really and then one more thing the side skirt um this sort of like um what do i call that this connected joint um, side skirt it's actually joined with this um, knee here i would say the thigh so yeah, it's actually connected inside here, like you guys see. So it's like both of them will move together. Let me put back straight on the legs. So yeah, it will be like that. So if you want to close on the, if you want to close in, right? But well, basically the legs is have to be out like that all the time. So if you want to close in, this is like the maximum you can go because these two here is connected. So it will make the leg out forever. But yeah, it's a cool. It's it's actually quite a cool thing because it makes the leg much more steady, doesn't really um swivel off and stuff. So yeah, that's one thing to see. And then now let's look at the back here. Yeah, because of the backpack and so on and so forth, I have to keep on holding on the kit. But just don't let this kit turn you off because this is actually a really good kit. I'm getting off topic here. So now we look at the backpack here. Um, this part here, the white wings can go in and out, and it will act like a mechanism for it to come out. So once you push this out, you can see the articulation for this part opens. This side here open, and the other side here will open as well. But it's not maximum, so you would have to use your fingers to push it out open. So yeah, here 
you can see here you can see the two thrusters here I think this is like they use the Torgis and the Epion then yeah then you come up with this Torgis tree and then the head here it should be like that okay close back and then now here you guys can see this part can move up and move up and down like that move up move up like that that's it and then here just add slightly more articulation for the thrusters at the back and then here let me just show you guys as well when you open yep you can see the top here open as well the side here open and this side open so this part if i'm not mistaken this part is one of the part that i did wrongly for the white part so this part here so you guys will have to be careful as well which i'll talk about later on and then here um the back skirt here the another thrusters here you guys can see it looks amazing um somehow i I think I did wrongly. This part you are supposed to be able to open out just like this blue part on top, but um, because I because it's a little bit tight fitting, so I just press it too hard and now it cannot open. But yeah, nonetheless, it still looks amazing. I mean, it, if this thing is flying towards you, you're basically doomed. I mean, except if you are Hiro Yui or you are Kira Yamato, then you definitely be safe. But yeah. So that's it for all this basic articulation. Oops, I'm sorry for that squeaky sound. Now, let us look at the weapons. We look at this so-called um, Mega Bazooka. Um, okay, the first part talk about here. You can see the lining here. Um, kind of sad in terms of I'm not sure I can focus properly. This part I'm talking about the, what do I call that, the funnels. Um, kind of sad because it's sort of like brown or green color. But yeah, I hope that it can change to silver next time. Like, come on, it's like that. But yeah, here you can see the funnels all running in. Okay, and then here, this part here, the bazooka here, you have to open up. Then what you can do is... You can push it in it's sort of tight fitting so you would have to use a bit of strength so yeah once you push it in then you can close it like that this will be sort of like the deactive mode sadly again uh, it does not come with any effect part of it so yeah i think if i'm not mistaken the the bandai one as well does not come with any effect so that's kind of sad but yeah and then if you want to open up you would have to push it out like that and then just click back inside and it's rather secure look at that it doesn't fall back in so yeah basically the bazooka is just like that very simple so let's put this aside <coughs> and then next here you have the shield this will be the thing that um, I would talk about a lot of it in my separate video but yeah basically here you can see the inside of it this part here um, this sort of like a polycap extra this is not from the normal grey colour polycap this would be an extra polycap that they will give you in a part you will be connecting on my right side here this part just plug inside and then yeah it's, it is rather secure so don't worry and then next here you have the handle you can move up like that you can hold I mean I'm rather a simple guy so I don't really um, want to open the hand, hold on to this thing, so on and so forth. Because once you plug in side here, it's already very secure as well. So, yeah. So next here is the fangs. I would call it the white fangs. All together, there are a total of ten of these. So it will be a rather long process, and then lots of sending you would have to do. And then here, the final part is the sharp part where you will kill the uh, uh, enemy. And then yeah, here you move out. You can move. Uh, some parts I would recommend you guys not to force too much because if you force then the parts that's being connected it will be rather easy to break but one thing it is that um, the manual it tells you to push it out a little bit so if you can push out then you can push out but yeah this is the maximum articulation that I can go I will go further than that because I don't want it to spoil and stuff but yeah like that and then as you guys can see the last part there I broke it because I, I actually try to force it in. I don't know if I can focus. 
this part here I used the super glue to connect back so yeah um, nonetheless it still looks really awesome this is one of the kit that I actually enjoy building it so yeah I would recommend you guys getting it if you can't afford the um, P Bandai like um, most of us anyway my place is starting to rain so if there's like a bit of sound disruption I'm really sorry about that but yeah now quickly um, just want to show you guys how to push it in this part here it's not it does not come when you're building the mo the mo the mobile suit togi tree they said this is a separate part here just like the just like this part here the connector for the weapon i leave it on because i afraid because this part is uh, rather difficult to push it in so yeah i decided not to take it out so it's actually very simple just um oh wait before i do that let me just close the mega bazooka here mega beam mega beam saber beam bazooka but yeah now here push it oops i'm sorry oops come on yeah finally it's in so the hand here it's sort of supposed to be like this the post the side and then next here I will have to twist a little bit here then if I'm not mistaken it's like that um, yeah um, like that let me bring this in front so yep basically this is just like that the Torgis tree let me look down again so yeah basically as you can see here this support here is actually really good you can move up as well like that but because it's slightly heavier so um, this part here you can't really support so you have to push it in a little bit but nonetheless it's still great and then this part here you can move up like that but like I say this part would be slightly heavier due to the length of this I would say soft the white fang but yeah nonetheless it looks really awesome so yeah basically basically this is the articulation so yep the my live commentary on the articulation is done so how would i actually rate this kit in total if you give me based on looks i would say um i would, I would actually give it 8 out of 10 and then if you if you would ask me about the how are actually the parts connected to it i would give it maybe 7 out of 10 but because the hands are actually the hands for the first time i would say is the weak point so yeah the connector part is kind of loose so that's why they drop points but yeah and plus this kit you need have two stickers one at the eyes and then the other one is at the back of the head which you can't even see it so yeah not nothing much really so would i recommend you guys to get this kit my answer is yes but to if you guys will ask me whether Tapan or Dragon Momoko better that you will have to wait in a separate video I will be doing uh, Dragon Momoko Togi's Tree as well in the future maybe after two or three videos of it then I will build the Togi's Tree but yeah as of now this kit is definitely a very good um, what do I call that uh, alternative for you if you can't afford the P Bandai like I mentioned in the live commentary so yeah um, and anyway, I will be having a separate video um, telling you if you guys really considering in getting this Tap and Togi's tree, uh, I will talk about what are the parts that you guys would have to take note of, so on and so forth. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. But before I end this video, I would like to apologize due to the autofocus. It might make you soft a little bit dizzy like I, I think I had a little bit dizzy when I was editing this video so but yeah nonetheless I still hope you guys will enjoy this enjoy this video and more of my video in the future so yep until then I'll see you guys soon I mean later on another video where I'll be telling you guys on what are the parts that you should take note of so yeah if you guys have enjoyed please do not forget to drop a like and if you guys haven't subscribed to me please don't forget to subscribe to me as well because there will be more Gunpla related videos coming up soon. 
So yeah, see you guys soon. I hope you guys have a good day. And peace, happy building Gumplar.